Alright dudes, slime mold tends to get a pretty bad rap. It's slimy, it's weird, some people think it's gross, and it tends to be associated with the stuff that grows on your bread. But I actually think slime mold is awesome. So on today's episode, I'm gonna give you a proper introduction. That's so science! So the inspiration for today's episode came from a Tumblr post that I posted a couple weeks ago that has gotten thousands of notes. <laughs> it's the post that just won't quit. Now the premise of this post was really cool. Scientists grew slime mold on a map of the United States, and they put food sources where America's major cities are. And the idea is that slime mold will always find the shortest distance between two food sources. So I've gotten really crazy responses. One person thought I was insulting the United States because slime mold. But really, I thought it was awesome. And here's why. I love slime mold. Slime mold is everywhere. Every continent, every climate, every altitude, every ecosystem. Slime mold can be divided into two main categories, plasmodial and cellular. I particularly love plasmodial slime mold for the following reasons. One, it's insanely brightly colored. Take a look. Not only are they beautiful colors, but it moves really cool. The cytoplasm of the organism kind of pulses, and this moves around the nutrients in the cell, but it also helps to propel the organism across the forest floor. There's some really neat videos of it on the internet. I'll post some links down below. But also, scientists in Norway have turned these pulses into sound. In the links below, you can go hear how slime mold sings. Two, plasmodial slime mold can form massive single cellular organisms. Individual amoebas join together to form one massive single cellular organism. Their membranes disappear and it kind of becomes one blob that contains thousands of nuclei. But it's technically one cell because it all shares one membrane. They can get massive. They can get up to 20 centimeters in diameter. So that was plasmodial slime mold. What about the second kind, cellular slime mold? Cellular slime mold gets its name because, well, it stays as little single cellular amoebas. So when it joins together, it's really a colony more than a single cellular organism. The crazy thing about this kind of slime mold is it's cooperative. Yeah. These guys go about their business eating bacteria or decaying material, but when they run out of their food source, they send out a chemical signal that makes them join together. And when they join together, they form this blob, which looks eerily like a slug. But then the slime mold kind of freaks out and is like, we're gonna starve to death, we have to spread our seed. So the slime mold then takes the blob and forms stalks with little bulbs on the end. And these bulbs are fruiting bodies which will release spores. But here's where it gets weird. Individual amoebas commit suicide. Their death helps the stalk grow because then they can more easily layer on top of each other to make the stalk grow taller. This behavior is for scientists to rethink intelligence. Crazy. If you think plasmodial slime mold can get big, cellular slime mold can get even bigger. In the great state of Texas where everything's bigger, one colony was found to be over 40 feet in diameter. That's like, I'm thinking of the blob. But dudes, slime molds have really cool names. They kind of sound like different flavors of ice cream. Wolf's milk, bubble gum, red raspberry, spaghetti, chocolate tube, and even tapioca. I never knew slime mold can sound so appetizing. But I've saved the best for last. My favorite fact about slime mold is they're undefinable. Slime mold was once thought to be fungi because they have similar life cycles, but no dice. They're not plant, they're not animal, they're kind of other. They're classified under a kingdom called Protista, and Protista is kind of the catch-all category for stuff science hasn't exactly figured out yet. That's it for me for this week. Don't forget to like and comment down below, that would be super duper. Leave any questions or comments here on my Tumblr or on my Twitter, those links are also below. I want to know what you guys want to hear about next. It's so slimy.